Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this video we will talk about Log Debug. How to use a nice debug debugger framework, log debugger framework uh, within TypeScript. So that we don't need to use console.log, but that we can use some higher end uh, framework or package within NPM to handle everything for us. Let's dive into what it is. So in Java, you have log4g, for example. So I was in the search of something uh, similar. I, I want to have something that is a higher level uh, library that um, is very easy to handle and uh, that I can just uh, use within my TypeScript project. So I came across this uh, yeah, package, right? And we're gonna see how this works and how you can use it within your own applications. So let's start using TS Log Debug. So of course, first of all, we need to install our package, right? So we're gonna install TS Log Debug. Right, great. And there is another package that we need to install as well. Well, it's a nice added one, the source map support. Something that you can install as well. All right, great. So first of all, I need to import our log uh, object, right? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to set something uh, for that. So first of all, we can set our level of uh, debugging so for us we're gonna set it into debug mode but you have different levels you need to check it out sometimes it can be uh, nice to just uh, remove certain uh, loggings when you do when you go to production right so then in your application you will see okay i'm in production um set my level of uh, debugging a little bit higher so that less uh, things gonna be um, locked right then of course we can set a name. This will be the name of our application. So I can put here maybe type with me, right? Of course now we can very easily use uh, this debugger. And I'm, I'm also put something like this. Uh, for example, we can also do something like info because it's always nice to have an example like that. This is an info log. You can do something like an error. Is an error, for example. Now we can save it. We can build this. And then we have build this. We can do something like this, node dot. And of course, he logs everything, right? So with the book, we have blue. With info, we have um, green. And with error, we have red. And the only thing that we have missed already is log dot warn. This is a warning. And that's yellow, right? Great. So another thing that you can do is uh, play a little bit with um, the layouts. So one of the things that you can do, for example, is um, use a message pass through, right? And when we build this, you will see Note dots that we get this. It's also nice when you have something like a JSON because it's it are appenders. It just does the normal logging and it does then this uh, additional uh, logging. 
So when we build this, you will see that we get the following output, which is also nice, of course. You have an JSON uh, output. And uh, when you are within uh, the Chrome DevTools, it's very easy to play around with it, right? So another thing that you could do is uh, create your custom layout. Of course, when you go to the website, you will see how you can do it. And uh, it's nice when you just uh, want to have something that's not within the uh, TS log debug project, right? Uh, you have also a lot of configuration options that are being possible. Um, Of course, we have here our API reference. Very easy to see what's possible or what's not possible, what you can do or cannot do with the uh, logger framework or library, right? Uh, I like it, so I suggest to play around a little bit with it. If you like this tutorial, please um, subscribe to my channel type with me you will find a lot of other interesting uh, tutorials around cool stuff uh, with web development and uh, typescript so i hope to see you very soon bye